Awareness Month and the START Center for Cancer Care wants men to be aware that, yes, they too can get breast cancer. RJ Marquez explains some of the symptoms and risk factors for men who have breast cancer. Though it's not nearly as common as breast cancer in women, the Centers for Disease Control says about 2,100 men are diagnosed with breast cancer and about 500 die from it every year. But doctors say the mortality rate for men with breast cancer is high because the cancer is usually caught in a later stage. You know, I don't know how much men like to go into their doctor and say, hey, I've got a lump on my breast or whether they're even you know, looking at that. Men experience the same symptoms as women, like a hard lump, changes in pain in the skin and nipple area, but the tumors for men are found in a different spot compared to most women. Um, in most men, this will happen directly behind the nipple and um, not sort of at the periphery just because their breast tissue is uh, focused into a much smaller area. Some other risk factors for male breast cancer include liver disease, obesity, and just getting older. The CDC says most breast cancers are found after the age of 50. And then there's family history. If several of your family members have had breast or ovarian cancer, you may want to talk to your doctor about genetic counseling or test. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News. Halloween just around the corner, and a local nonprofit is doing its part to make sure that every single kid can celebrate, even if they're sick. The Stay Strong Foundation is giving young hospital patients Halloween costumes and bringing a spooky boobash to those who can't trick or treat. Stay Strong's board president, Debbie Harper, says being able to celebrate Halloween goes a long way for those in the hospital, and it's something she learned firsthand from her own son. The day before he went into the hospital, he wanted to do something, and so he put it out on Facebook, and he said, hey, you know, we need costumes for these kiddos here because they're kind of isolated. Now this year, the foundation has a goal to collect 400 costumes for pediatric patients at University Hospital. And that's where you come in. You can help by going to our website, ksat.com. All right, so we checked in with SA Live earlier. They have the food competition. Yes. What kind uh, of chips are you talking about? Oh, know. we look at this. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Got, oh, we have food. See, this is always, there's so many reasons why it's an honor doing the noon show. Yep. Ooh, that's Hanging out with Mike and Fiona is just another Pretty one. Pretty good stuff, this? huh? Yeah, so that is Lumpia Shanghai. It oh. is a Filipino Fantastic. snack. Yeah, snack. Delicious. Okay. Oh, wow. dish, all of the above. Bobby, I'll share mine with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we're going to have a little yeah. eating contest with that. And then look at this beautiful table set up here. All right, this is a Kamayan feast, and we have Camille de los Ustreas, owner and CEO of Sari Sari, Filipino restaurant, market, and bakery. So you have a Lumpia eating contest coming up this Saturday, right? Yes, we do. Okay. So I want you to chow down on all this lumpia. We're also going to show you how to eat with your hands for this fancy Kamayan feast. Even the rice, right? Yes, yes. the rice. If I'm getting lumpia, I'll eat anything <laughs> with my hands right there. And that raises our social question today. What would you chow down on if it was an eating contest? Would it be lumpia? Mine would be lumpia. Yours would be lumpia? Absolutely. That's a pr I don't know what mine would be. Oh Let my gosh, us know. Hurry. Scan a QR code. <laughs> I know. Uh, it may be bratwurst because Yingling Beer is in town. It is the oldest continuous brewery in the United States. Oh. We are going to show you some great bratwurst recipes, and it is their October great fest. Pairings, yes, for Ooh. October yes. fest. Okay, and Defiant Boutique will be showing us some of the fall fashions they've got. And we have a preview of Cirque du Soleil that is coming to town next month. And some of the wonderful, great, great show. It is going to be out there at Nelson Stadium under the big top. All right, all that and more when SA Live continues in just a little bit. All right, just a reminder in the pollen count that molds are moderate. And in today's forecast, again, drizzle is going to increase late tonight, last through the early part of the day tomorrow, 83 tomorrow for the high, 89 and humid on Thursday, humid on Friday for the first part of the day that a front moves through sets up a gorgeous weekend ahead. Guys, good viewing weather for the solar eclipse. And just a reminder, we are your Eclipse Authority station. Go to ksat.com slash eclipse and you can see all these different stories, including how to make a pinhole projector to safely view the eclipse. Very good. You know, it was also very good. Olympia. Oh, yeah. How many? Okay. So before we go to SA Live, how many you think you've knocked down? Oh, I could do 20 of those. 20? Oh, my God. They were so good. Sarah Spivey, number? 12. 12? Okay. Challenge accepted. I want to see how many Mike and Fiona can do. They're good. All Trust right. Us. <laughs> well, the news at noon ends and SA Live begins right now. And today on SA Live, we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month through dance, music, literature, and film from our community. 
Plus, Oktoberfest never tasted better. A local influencer has teamed up with a brewery for amazing flavor pairing. And get cozy this fall with the latest fashion collection from the best clothing boutique of 2023, according to the SA Current. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh. Oh. I, 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 that, I was, that was for us. Nandito na ang masarap nagpagkain. That's right. Here comes the delicious food. Hello and happy Tuesday. Grab it, Mike. I'm trying to. Lose it all. Ted's Good not afternoon. letting me here. I'm Here Fiona Gorostiza. <laughs> and I'm Mike Oser. <laughs> and you know it's going to be a good day when we have Lumpia here. And our first guest today is, of course, helping us celebrate Filipino American History Month. Yes, Camille de los Reyes, owner and CEO of Sari Sari, Filipino restaurant market and bakery is here. And we've got the banana leaf out on the table. And this is a Kamayan Feast. What does that mean for folks that don't know? Definitely. So Kamayan means to eat by hand. Everything we prepare beautifully by our hands. So we want you to feast down and use your hands to eat this delicious food. So we've got all the fruit out here, the beautiful fruit, all the rice, and then there is the the stars of the show, mm, some definitely. of the, the meat that goes on here. So, so we, yeah, we do the Kamayan spread at both of our locations. Mm -hmm. This Sunday, we are doing a collaborative event with Chef Kirk from Milpa Ocho, and she actually traveled with us to the Philippines along with Mayor Ron Nirenberg to help create a sister city relationship with us and the Philippines. So we're really excited to share our stories and share a little bit of the food that they prepared while they were out there. This is our Filipino barbecue. It's with pork. Mm -hmm. um, we also have some lumpia, oh! your favorite. Oh, yes, okay. And the Filipino barbecue, it's a little on the sweet side as far as the sabor, right? Yes, it's sweet and savory. It's char-grilled, so it has that nice kiss of flame. And this is everything that we've handpicked for you guys to enjoy with your hands. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you right now, Mike, to kind of okay. use your hands to eat some of this rice. It's not really intimidating because there's a lot of food that we eat by hand, like yeah. pizza or fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And so, so this you, is no so different. You said kind of go in like a little claw like yeah, this, right? Yeah, first you, you got to work on you your pinch like claw hand. That you got to practice. Down, okay. you know, yes. like the arcade. Yes, and just like look this. at you. you. Okay, yes, very, very good, very delicately. But mm -hmm. we, we don't have to be so worried or afraid. We just pinch it, like you said. Mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. Use the thumb, you okay. know, to zoom in here on this thumb action, and you like. Oh, like this? Okay. Shovel it. Okay. You shovel it into your mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pair it with some barbecue. Why does it taste better? When you eat with your hands. Exactly. Or when you so talk don't with be your afraid. <laughs> Come out, get your tickets, join us on Sunday. It's going to be so much fun. But we're also celebrating, I've got a mouthful of rice now. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We're also <laughs> celebrating Filipino American History Month mm -hmm. at our original location, um, Sorry Sorry on Warspock. And um, we're having a celebration all day long, starting with a car meet, some food vendors, some craft vendors. We're going to have a DJ. Karaoke, it's not a party without oh, karaoke. Oh, karaoke. Lumpia, lumpia eating contest, too. Right? And there's a lumpia eating contest. So we wanted uh, to give Speaking you a preview of, of that. Okay. I just want to eat my lumpia. Let's, All right. We are going to have a little, how many we can eat in 30 seconds here? Okay. <laughs> we. I have been eating this since eat? I came out of the womb. Whose Mike? idea was this to be masked for, for a this? little challenge, yeah. We provided some blindfolds. Okay. I'm going to put your lumpia right in front of you. Okay, All got right. it. Uh-huh. And we need a clock, so 30 seconds there. Okay, uh -huh. hang on. We're, we're hanging on here. Are you, are you not? Oh, go, go. Ah. go. All right, Mike, let's go. I know you've been waiting for this day since the first time I came on TV. Fiona, I know you've been practicing for this at every Filipino party. Mm -hmm. You gotta make mom proud. Mm -hmm. Keep shoving them in there. You gotta keep going. Fiona's really catching up on you, Mike. Mike, don't let us down, Mike. All of the Filipinos are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Mike. I'm good. Time's out. I'm good. <laughs> I feel not full of food. I can't. What happened? <laughs> I win. I think it was all those uh, lumpia you sneaked in prior to the I show starting. I not full. Y'all have to come out on Saturday. See for yourself how much lumpia you I can won. eat. How many do you? 
She's done, Mike. Oh, well, Mike, you haven't even looked over. <laughs> She's done. You pulled a tad on me, so. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We wouldn't. Us? Cheat? Never. <laughs> Come see how much lumpia you can eat. You Saturday. Know, even if I lost, I still won because I got to have the delicious lumpia here. So <laughs> everyone's a winner. Again, if you want even uh, the, the combined piece like this, you yeah. can order it for your family, friends, or anything like that and, and enjoy yes. it at one of your restaurants, right? At Sorry yeah. Sorry Supper Club, we do it every month with a new collaborative chef. But you can also book your private event if you're celebrating a birthday, a graduation, an anniversary. We'd be happy to set up this feast for you and your friends. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. And don't forget to uh, head out Saturday and try your own attempt at eating lumpia. Not necessarily timed in 30 seconds. So. For more information on Saudi Saudi Filipino restaurant market and bakery, just head to salive.com, click on the S, see on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Camille, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Marami salamat. Okay, that raises the question, mm. what could you chow down on and, you know, win an eating contest because you love it so much? Filipino yours barbecue or lumpia? Okay, that would mm -hmm. be yours. What about you? Um, Think fast. I'm going to go with lumpia. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, lumpia right now. You want some water? <laughs> I ate too quickly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sure. Okay, Bye. so go ahead and scan that QR code. Let us know what food would you chow down in in an eating contest. You might see your answer later in the show. You've got a picture of your lunch. Share it right now. Why not? <laughs> Okay, we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month all this week, but one place in town is celebrating culture all year long. The Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center embraces dance, music, literature, and film while connecting with the community in the heart of the West Side. And Jen Tobias Trusky shares more about their upcoming author series and dance performance. Take a look. It's a place where the arts, culture, and community are celebrated all year long. We have regular programs once a month here at the Guadalupe Theater, mostly showcasing the Guadalupe Dance Company, which is our traditional Valle Folklorico and Flamenco uh, professional dance company with a Mariachi Azteca de America. <laughs> Up this week, we have a special show to commemorate Hispanic Heritage Month, and that is a program called Nuestras Voces. And this is the Guadalupe Dance Company doing something a little different than what they usually do. This is a fusion of traditional and modern dance and storytelling as they produce and perform stories of our people, of our neighborhood, and Mexican Americans from throughout South Texas. This is a very empowering program. I mean, they tell a lot of stories that really hit some people in the heart. We have some audience members that will come and be very moved by these stories because many of them can remember being in these circumstances and being in this, these positions. So it's a really special program for many people. And while the dance performance is a ticketed event, there's also an author's reading at the Guadalupe Latino Bookstore happening earlier in the evening. One of the authors includes John Olivares Espinosa. It's very important to me to, to do my reading here because of the location. It's in the west side of San Antonio. I'd like to reach out to audiences that may not always necessarily be exposed to uh, poetry. Uh, this feels very much at, at home for me, uh, too, to uh, place it here. We feature different Texas authors, and they have a book reading and a book signing. And uh, for teachers that are interested, what we do with these authors is we also write curriculum guides for each of these authors that we present, and we make those curriculum guides available to teachers for free. And for, uh, for me, when I started off as a writer at the age of 20, I've uh, 21 reading poetry. I was not at all exposed to uh, Latino literature at all. Um, very, very little was I exposed to. And where I went to school in um, California, down the street from my university, was a bookstore just like this called the Spag Bookstore. And so when I walked in that bookstore, I was surrounded by more Latino literature than I could even imagine. And that was such an inspiration for me and such a push for me to go out and um, create literature in, in ways that I, I never thought would have been possible. During my grandfather's sleep, 
a brujo whispers into his ear. To fasten English to the tongue, rinse your mouth with black coffee poured inside a gold chalice. We have many artists, talented artists, in all the disciplines of art and culture. Dance, music, literature, visual arts, media, film, that can express themselves and need a place to go showcase their art. And we have an audience and a community that wants to experience that art because it touches them at the core of their being. We have a sense of recognition. And I think to be bookstore like this is very important because you don't know what a young child is going to walk into this this store and uh, see these books and come out inspired to be a writer uh, themselves. You can come by the Latino bookstore from Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4 p.m. Check out all the different authors here and the author series continues every month. When we see this art, we recognize it immediately because it's our art, it's our background. For SA Live, and it explains in a big part who we are. I'm Jen Tobias Jusky. Again, the author series and dance performance is happening this Friday. For more information, SCNA, the, uh, scan the QR code on your screen or head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, when SA Live continues by building a better mind, body, and spirit for everyone every day in our local community, but especially for World Mental Health Day, which is today. We check out some of the counseling and well being services at the YMCA. And a local influencer is teaming up with America's oldest brewery to celebrate Oktoberfest season. Don't miss these fun food pairings. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Yes, October's best season is underway. What a great way to celebrate German American heritage and Got some fun pairings to go with some beer. Oh, absolutely. It tastes so good. And Yingling, brand ambassador Bro, good, and too. social media influencer Chris Flores is here to share his top pairings. So, this is good. Yeah, so Ooh. Yingling's been in Texas for two years. And this is our second year to celebrate Oktoberfest here in San Antonio. So we're really excited. And what we're going to do to showcase uh, what we're going to be doing for Oktoberfest is pair with these beautiful recipes that show Yingling. She's a sixth generation daughter. Mm -hmm. who, and um, let me just say that Yingling is the oldest brewery in America, family owned and operated, 194 years. And I was just, I just learned that during Prohibition, they switched over to making ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did you, you look that You gotta do what up? works. I did my homework. So. Is that All right. what you do over there? All right. <laughs> what doesn't go with beer, but I guess we should say what's the best with beer, and that is bratwurst mm -hmm. and pretzels, right? Absolutely. So. These recipes all call for the Yingling Oktoberfest beer. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, if you can pour a beer here, okay. and what you would do is you would pour it. Am I doing the whole thing? Or yeah, do the whole it? beer. Do okay. the whole beer in there. Whoa. And then we would let that cook for another four to six hours. We don't have that, but just to kind of show everyone what it looks like whenever we start. Oh. Now, Fiona, if you yeah, would, would like to beer. drop a beer in here. Okay. So whole it calls thing? for the whole, the whole thing, right. Okay. And while you, Mike, while you're doing that, mm -hmm. you know, while you're making our cheese and mm -hmm. you can whisk it, we have a whisker right there. Okay. What I'll do is I'll talk about the pretzel. I think one of the most scariest things for people who are cooking pretzels is the fold. And I have practiced <laughs> it. <laughs> so I'm gonna show off a little bit here. Okay. And go. <laughs> All righty. So it's literally just across a fold and then you bring them back towards you and it makes that beautiful pretzel. Wow. Look at that. Oh. Do that again slower so I can watch this. Yeah, time. for sure, for sure. So you make a U towards yourself. Yeah. And then you just do a fold over and then you do another twist. Okay. And then you just grab the ends and you bring it right back towards you and you just kind of fix it. Press down right here. Once you once you're finished cooking them, they'll come out looking like this. And there's a whole bunch of different styles of pretzels. You have your straight pretzels, but grab one of these pretzels. Yep. Yes. yes. Okay, what other different uh, varieties of Yingling they have? Because this is the, the special Oktoberfest, right? Yeah, it's, it's available August through October, but mm -hmm. throughout the whole year, we have our lager, which is our more bold beer. We have the flat, which is a, it's a crisp, light tasting beer. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a couple more seasonal beers, um, oh, like whoa. the black and tan. And then mm -hmm. during Christmas, we have a Hershey's beer. Because you got to partner with your neighbors, because Yingling is from Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. so Hershey, Pennsylvania, it's the perfect 
perfect collab. You know, unlike a lot of uh, kind of kind of like craft beers, okay. this is very smooth and nothing really is overpowering. But like you said, that little sweetness on the mm -hmm. front end, beautiful. I like that. And, and sturdy enough to stand up with cheese and with bratwurst like this. Absolutely. So once this is finished cooking, mm -hmm. this is what this will look like with our brats. Oh, that looks good. Once we let the cheese cook mm -hmm. and that's we've added the beer, like. added mm -hmm. everything, it's going to come to this beautiful yellow dark color, right? And that's the copperness that's inside the beer that will make it look like that. And then what we'll do is we'll pour some butter and salt our pretzels. Oh, yeah. Mm. The cool thing about all these recipes, they're all interchangeable. So literally, you can pour cheese on any of this. It's, of course. Yeah. Mm. And it pairs well with our beer. Mm. Come on. So what's your favorite part of being a food content creator? Uh, I think it's this, being able to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, being Get able to drink bratwurst. Yeah, too. yeah, on live TV, right? <laughs> no, I, I think that just meeting new people, new experiences, mm -hmm. and being able to expand my flavor profile has been the best part about it. Because before, I was a creature of habit. Right, mm -hmm. right, this just expands it. Sure. What about the upcoming event? So the upcoming event is going to be at the Beer Garden located on the Riverwalk. It's going to be the 16th through the 22nd. You'll be able to come and actually sample Yingling. On the 20th and the 21st, we're gonna do our beer tapping ceremony and we're gonna have our Stein Challenge, which Mike, you and I were doing. You were cheating at the beginning. Hey, a little bit, it's okay. I was? Yeah, you were. So you, so whenever you do the Stein Challenge, yeah. the thumb cannot touch the Stein. That's what oh, makes it, it hard. Oh, it does. okay. It's touching it there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what makes it so hard. You hold it out parallel to the ground. And, and, then, and then you just go like this. Absolutely. And you go like this. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can get yingling anywhere you get other great absolutely. beers, Absolutely, right? beer, yeah, food and wine, yeah, absolutely. All right. Started one segment with lumpia, and now I've got bratwurst and beer. The happiest boy <laughs> yeah. in the world. All right, for more information on yingling and Chris, just head to our website, essaylive.com, click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab, where we provide a link or just scan the QR code on your screen. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Prost. Prost. All right. Get ready for fall looks from the best clothing boutique of 2023, according to the SA Current. Plus, today is World Mental Health Day, how you can build a more positive mind, body, and spirit, thanks to the counseling and well-being services at our local YMCA. Today is World Mental Health Day and asking for help is powerful. The YMCA is on a mission to help our community build a better mind, body and spirit every day. And did you know they also offer counseling and well-being services? We're here at the Walsham Family location in Windcrest with Christine Guzman, who is the Director of Counseling. Thank you for being with us. Absolutely. Okay, what sort of counseling services do you offer and what are some of the key benefits? Wonderful. So the YMCA is new to the counseling thing. We've been doing this for about a year where we found it very important to bring counseling into the Y's um, and the counseling services we offer are really focused around our youth so we offer services for nine, uh, 12 to 19 year olds and their families so their moms dads guardians um, and it's really focused around bringing that family unit closer together we help the kiddos with anxiety issues uh, self-identity issues and anything just kind of around being an adolescent in today's world. So obviously there's that, that age range there, but is it open to anybody in that age range? And then how do folks access these services? Sure, um, so we, we are really focused on our low income, low service communities. Um, and so you don't have to be a member. It is for our communities. And it is that age range that we're looking for, that 12 to 19 year olds. Um, we received a grant through the Metro Health District mm -hmm. and we were able to offer these free for that age group. Um, the way that they kind of get in contact with us can either be through our website, which is ymcasatx.org backslash counseling, or they can um, give us a call, 210-796-3732, um, and we can get them set up and, and rolling right away. We don't even have a wait list right now. As far as your counselors, what are their qualifications? Yes, um, so they are licensed counselors, either pre-licensed or licensed, which means they have their uh, degree in counseling um, or in marriage and family counseling as well. And so that offers us that range. Um, and then we have a diverse crew. So we like to meet our communities where they're at. We have Spanish speaking, we have um, counselors that that are male, female, um, and really our, our veterans. Mm -hmm. And so it's really great because our group kind of goes wherever in our community. And I know you've only been doing it for about a year, but what impacts have you seen in the community? Oh, it's been wonderful. So with any counseling, you have those aha moments. And so when somebody's struggling with anxiety and we're able to teach them some co um, coping skills, and then to see them use it, 
and then come back to us and say, hey, guess what I was able to do? It's really exciting for us as counselors. It kind of keeps us going because mm -hmm. um, you never get to see that. We don't get to live day to day with them. But when they come into the office and say, you know what I did today? I was able to get through that test or I was able to accomplish that goal we get as, as excited as they do. So for us, it's a, a thrill as well. That's wonderful. Well, of course, there are techniques that you can do at home to stay mentally and physically healthy. And Don Cortez, who is a Silver Sneakers group exercise instructor, is here to talk about just a couple of them. So even simple little exercises can help with mental health and mental well-being? Absolutely. Just keeping the body moving, leg exercises, arm exercises, bicep curls, basically anything just to keep the body in motion. We do resistance band training and weight exercises so they get a little bit of real intense exercise but on a lower level scale. How often, how long does somebody have to do this? Uh, it should be consistent uh, every day if they can, uh, at least four to five days out of the week. And so they come, uh, all my regulars are here at least five days a week. The more weights we do, the stronger the bones get. Once again, well, asking for help is powerful. And when you're ready, the YMCA is here. Schedule a consultation by calling 210-796-3732 or visit the website ymcasatx.org slash counseling. Still ahead, for the first time ever in San Antonio, Cirque du Soleil Bazaar is bringing the big top to the Alamo City. Don't miss out on this magical experience. And try on a new look this fall. It's women's clothing and accessories from a local boutique. We check out the curated monthly collection of the latest fashion trends. That's next on SA Live. Calling all good citizens. Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite is coming to Boeing Center at Techport on Friday, October 27th. And you can enter to win a family four pack of tickets. The Paw Patrol is yelping for help as they face their greatest challenge yet. And it's up to the pups to save the day. Enter to win your family four pack of tickets to the show. Just visit SALive.com and click on the Paw Patrol article. Don't miss Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite. Friday, October 27th at Boeing Center at Techport. Oh, oh, oh! All right, well, get dressed this fall by the best clothing boutique of 2023, according to the SA Current. Joining me is Bianca Ariza, owner of Defiant Boutique. All right, how did you come up with the name Defiant? I feel like there's something there. There is, yeah. <laughs> so when I was naming the boutique, I wanted to make sure we named it something strong and bold and empowering and even a little bit rebellious. Um, we do have a lot of trendy pieces, but I wanted our customers to feel like they can break the fashion rules a little bit sometimes. And that's always important to break the rules of every course, now and then yeah. when it works. All right, we've got our first model here. Tell us about this fall look. Yeah, so Amber is wearing a really trendy piece. It is gonna be the midi skirt in a denim fabric. Um, this is gonna be a lighter neutral color. Um, and then we paired it with a fitted sweater top. You can easily pair this skirt also with like a chunky sweater um, or even a t-shirt or a blouse. It's really versatile. And then since this is a more neutral look, we did add a pop of color with the red handbag. Okay, I love it, I love the boot. Okay, <laughs> all right. So you have a pop-up coming up, right? I do, so we have um, first Saturday of every month, we do Hello to Market, and then we will have other pop-ups sporadically throughout the month, but usually I just post the dates and times on our Instagram. And that's where you can find everything. Yep. Okay, we've got our second model here with a fall look. Yeah, so Leisha is gonna be wearing um, our olive colored A-line sweater dress. Um, it's going to be a fit and flare, so that means it's going to be fitted at the top and then it flares out at the bottom. It has a really cute collar detail, and then we did pair a higher boot with it to kind of balance out the length of the dress. Okay, and you have other items, of course, that you offer, right? We do. So aside from clothing, we carry gold-plated jewelry, we have shoes exclusively online, hair accessories, and handbags as well. Okay, and you brought a few examples of other clothing and looks with you today. Let's start here. I did. So um, I brought um, our newest arrivals, our newest collection, a lot of the trendy pieces. Um, these two are going to be kind of showcasing uh, the mesh and kind of see through um, fabrics that are trending right now. You have a dressier top, um, great for going out, crop length, and then you have a more basic um, everyday bodysuit um, that you can layer as well. And then the next trend we're gonna see a lot for fall and winter 
is going to be, um, well, this one is the cargo skirt. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be long and denim and with the slit as well. And then we have cargo detail also here um, in the satin trouser. Cargo's back. Yes, Just we're like seeing cargo the 90s. everywhere. Yes, okay. All right, over here, ooh, that sweatshirt looks cozy. Yeah, so we do have the graphic oversized sweatshirt um, with the embroidered um, cream colored. These are really popular for fall right now. Anything chocolate brown is really big. Um, we have your basic leather skirt as well here. Um, a good everyday uh, kind of basic, great to have in your closet. And then we're seeing the return of puffer vests. These are great for kind of the warmer um, climates as well because you can just layer that on top or throw it off if it does get too warm. And then the last one's gonna be um, a black mini dress in like a really cool pleat fabric. And pleat, of course, you're gonna see a lot of as Another well. great trend, okay. yes. All right, let's finish it up over here with the cozy snuggle up sweaters. Yeah, so we have three different styles of sweaters. Um, you have two really great neutrals. Uh, the first one's gonna have a drop shoulder, which is another great trend for fall. And then these two are gonna be collared. So another really big trend for fall, you just have a more neutral option or you have a bright, fun fall color. Okay, and you've got a deal for folks watching right now, right? I do. So you can use code SALIVE um, online at our website for 15% off your entire order. Okay, and tell us about your location. So we are located inside Alicia Collective, and you can find it on uh, Warsbach Parkway and Lock Hill Summa. Okay, for more information on Defiant Boutique, just head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. Still to come, Cirque du Soleil Bazaar is coming to San Antonio. We learn about the show and get a sneak preview of their mesmerizing performance. But right now, your answers to the question of the day, what would you chow down in an eating contest? And Elizabeth says, whoa, okay, bean, cheese, and jalapeno nachos all day long. Keep them coming, scan that QR code. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, get ready for a major event, San Antonio. For the first time ever, Cirque du Soleil Bazaar is coming to the Alamo City. It's a magical experience with edge of your seat acrobatics, electric dancing, music, and so much more. And artistic director Johnny Kim is here to give us a sneak preview. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. All right, the show is gonna be under the big top right down here in town. When and where can folks see it? Okay, so we're very excited to be here and we, you can see us um, from November 5th to December 3rd at the Nelson W. Wolf Stadium. Every Cirque show has a theme. Tell us about Bazaar and what makes it different from all other incredible Cirque du Soleil shows. Well, Bazaar kind of pays an homage to the roots of where Cirque du Soleil came from. So it's old meets new. We have some traditional acts that we've also kind of transformed and reiterated into a modern way uh, with things like roller skates, trapeze, teeterboard and rope and things like that. Um, and we also have a new act that has never graced the Cirque du Soleil stage before with Malakum and it derives from India. Uh, but when it comes to the theme, I would say, you know, music is the soundtrack of our lives and our theme is that collectively anytime we get together we can achieve anything and what I love about the shows is that the music plays such an integral part to the entire experience Absolutely, right Absolutely, yes okay so the creative process night after night show like this what is it like well physically all the artists have their own ways of training and warm-ups for them specifically and their needs but when it comes to the creative process I like to just let them re be reminded that every show we do is different every night's different every feeling is different in that moment and so if they can just authentically put themselves into their character choices on stage it makes it always fresh and new every time we do it and the San Antonio show will be Bazaar's second US stop Ever. Ever. Okay, so what made you decide to come here? To be honest, you know, <laughs> every world-class bit of entertainment uh -huh. always comes to populous cities like Dallas, Houston, and, and Austin and things like that. And I think coming to San Antonio is an opportunity for us to be able to share our performance art with communities that may not be able to travel to bigger cities or like Las Vegas. And I think that's a, a great way to have some visibility for people that can't come to other places. Oh, absolutely. All right, so let's get the information up on the screen. You can get tickets to Cirque du Soleil Bazaar right here in San Antonio. Antonio online at Cirque du Soleil.com slash bazaar or scan that QR code that you see right there on your screen. Now we have performers in studio today to give us that sneak peek. Take it away.
Today is World Mental Health Day, how you can build a more positive mind, body, and spirit thanks to the counseling and well-being services at our local YMCA. Today is World Mental Health Day and asking for help is powerful. The YMCA is on a mission to help our community build a better mind, body and spirit every day. And did you know they also offer counseling and well-being services? We're here at the Walsham Family location in Windcrest with Christine Guzman, who is the Director of Counseling. Thank you for being with us. Absolutely. Okay, what sort of counseling services do you offer and what are some of the key benefits? Wonderful. So the YMCA is new to the counseling thing. We've been doing this for about a year where we found it very important to bring counseling into the Y's. Um, and the counseling services we offer are really focused around our youth. So we offer services for nine, uh, 12 to 19 year olds and their families, so their moms, dads, guardians. Um, and it's really focused around bringing that family unit closer together. We help the kiddos with anxiety issues, uh, self-identity issues, and anything just kind of around being an adolescent in today's world. So obviously there's that, that age range there, but is it open to anybody in that age range? And then how do folks access these services? Sure, um, so we, we are really focused on our low income, low service communities, um, and so you don't have to be a member. It is for our communities, and it is that age range that we're looking for, that 12 to 19 year olds. Um, we received a grant through the Metro Health District, mm -hmm. and we were able to offer these free for that age group. Um, the way that they kind of get in contact with us can either be through our website, which is ymcasatx.org backslash counseling, or they can um, give us a call, 210-796-3732, um, and we can get them set up and, and rolling right away. We don't even have a wait list right now. As far as your counselors, what are their qualifications? Yes, um, so they are licensed counselors, either pre-licensed or licensed, which means they have their uh, degree in counseling um, or in marriage and family counseling as well. And so that offers us that range. Um, and then we have a diverse crew, so we like to meet our communities where they're at. We have Spanish speaking, we have um, counselors that that are male, female, um, and really are, are veterans. Mm -hmm. And so it's really great because our group kind of goes wherever in our community. And I know you've only been doing it for about a year, but what impacts have you seen in the community? Oh, it's been wonderful. So with any counseling, you have those aha moments. And so when somebody's struggling with anxiety and we're able to teach them some co um, coping skills and then to see them use it, and then come back to us and say, hey, guess what I was able to do? It's really exciting for us as counselors. It kind of keeps us going, because mm -hmm. um, you never get to see that. We don't get to live day to day with them, but when they come into the office and say, you know what I did today? I was able to get through that test, or I was able to accomplish that goal we get as, as excited as they do. So for us, it's a, a thrill as well. That's wonderful. Well, of course, there are techniques that you can do at home to stay mentally and physically healthy. And Don Cortez, who's a Silver Sneakers group exercise instructor, is here to talk about just a couple of them. So even simple little exercises can help with mental health and mental well-being? Absolutely, just keeping the body moving, leg exercises, arm exercises, bicep curls, basically anything just to keep the body in motion. We do resistance band training and weight exercises, so they get a little bit of real intense exercise, but on a lower level scale. How often, how long does somebody have to do this? Uh, it should be consistent uh, every day if they can, uh, at least four to five days out of the week. And so they come, uh, all my regulars are here at least five days a week. The more weights we do, the stronger the bones get. Once again, well, asking for help is powerful. And when you're ready, the YMCA is here. Schedule a consultation by calling 210-796-3732 or visit the website ymcasatx.org slash counseling. And coming up tomorrow on SA Live, an award-winning Broadway show hundreds of years in the making comes to the Alamo City. How the story of King Henry the Sixth, King Henry the Eighth, six wives is getting a fresh and modern take, and we chat with one of the queens live here at Market Square. Plus, tiny living made easy. We take you to one San Antonio neighborhood that's all about embracing smaller, happy spaces. What you need to know about the new tiny trend? That and a whole lot more. 1 p.m. on SA Live. Thank you so much for being with us today, and the lumpy is all gone, so we just you know, ate that stuff. <laughs> we forget. shall drive through that. <laughs> as well as the broth wars, as I well won. as the beer. It was a good day. <laughs> it really was. We will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.